schools are getting desperate they need to fill the positions okay teaching business teaching online you great way here we go accepting applications for 23 to 24 school year which is now great resource no end of jobs in this video i'm going to be showing you an example of some currently available teaching jobs in taiwan this video is linked in in tandem with how to move to taiwan so they both complement each other. Those who are wanting to move to Taiwan to figure out how, and those who are coming to Taiwan potentially looking for a job, which most likely is going to be a teaching job. Okay. So I go through a lot of information about how to get to Taiwan, the different visas in the link in the description. You'll also be able to see some other useful links, which may come in handy for your move to Taiwan. So now I'm going to run through some of uh, the teaching jobs, what are available, some examples of qualifications and experience you need, and some examples of the kind of salaries, what are being offered. But most importantly, I'm going to be showing you where to find these jobs on what websites, okay? You don't need to be paying any money to any recruiters. They're all being advertised from Taiwan companies, Taiwan schools, Taiwanese employers, okay? And this links in again with what I said in the video about moving to Taiwan, where First, you need to get your feet on the ground. You need to get to Taiwan and then you can start your job search. OK, you're more likely to get a job, a teaching job in Taiwan if you're already here, because it proves to be less of a risk for the employer. If they're employing people from outside of Taiwan who've never been to Asia before, they might come here with the company paid up front to arrange all of the work permit, visa, uh, residency visa only for the person to then to leave a country after one week, okay, to run away. So employers don't want that kind of risk. They are a little bit nervous, which I explained in the previous video as well. And to help calm their nerves, if you've got experience already in Taiwan or in Asia, it's going to help out a hell of a lot. In terms of being eligible for a legal teaching job, so there are those who are working legally. I wouldn't recommend it, but people are working illegally here, just like in all countries. OK, so to teach English, for example, to teach English as a foreign language or to get uh, a viable work permit, a legal work permit, employers do look for um, a degree, bachelor's degree, a master's degree, some kind of educational degree. It just it does differ depending which country you're from. But for example, in the UK, you need a three year bachelor degree. In the US, you need a four year degree. OK, uh, a diploma doesn't really you know, cut it. If it's a one year diploma or a GMEQ or an MVQ or a certificate of something, it has to be a university degree, which is accredited by uh, an accredited university and which can then be translated for the Taiwanese government to then be used to get you your residency, your work permit uh, and your alien residence certificate as well. OK, so this university degree can be in anything. OK, it can be in history, geography, it can be in uh, information technology, it can be in media, it can be mathematics, it can be a sports one, it can be a management one. OK, it does help. Yes, if it's some kind of education or teacher specific, you may be able to command a higher salary, even get into some bilingual or international schools. OK, if you've got a PGSC, if you've got a postgraduate certificate of education from your home country, you will be able to work in public schools and international schools. If you have not, there are still ways to get there, but it will be a little bit more difficult. You can still get a higher salary with more experience, but you do need that degree in any subject to be able to get the official and legal work permit and documents for residency. As an extra benefit, if you have got some kind of certifications for teaching English as a foreign language or teaching English as a second language, so they're your TEFLs, they're your TESLs, it will help. Perhaps it shows that you've actually gone out your way to try and learn how to teach English as a foreign language. It is not needed. You can get a teaching job rightly or wrongly without these and just with a degree in something which is not even related to teaching or English uh, or the topic you're going to teach. OK, but that will be a nice uh, extra string to your bow, which you can find online. You can even do online. People do the CELTA or Trinity, which can be done online and face to face. These hold a lot of weight, but most of the time you get the same job as you would if you do a CELTA than if you've done an online one together with the right degree. If you Google and I type in uh, TFL uh, teaching courses, 
already it will bring up a load of different courses there's no end just do some research into some popular ones which are being used by a lot of people here look you've got Sauter, you've got tefl there's so many different ones if it's got an accreditation to it it's worthwhile so let's go on to one course which i actually did many many years ago now uh, i did eye to eye and look some people might not rate it but look most of them are all the same if it's accredited great then you get accreditation they offer they offer different levels. They're, they'll try and blow your mind with different terminology, uh, different diplomas and level five, level five. All you need to be looking at is getting as much hours as possible. It's very salesy as well. As many hours as possible. Look here, the green one, TFL diploma, 300 hour online. Okay. So this gives you uh, certificates in young learners, teaching business, teaching online. If you do the 420 hour online one, okay. Uh, it's a SALTA level equivalent, so that is quite a good standard. Teaching business, teaching online, you've got your IELTS uh, qualification, uh, online teaching practice, maths and science are specific uh, topics as well, okay? You have got lesser hours, but people, if anything, if they are looking, if employers are looking to see what you've done in terms of these courses, they are looking for more hours. And if you can offer more, for example, young learners you can highlight that in your cv and you can really you know you don't even have to tell them oh it's all permanently online you can put that together some face-to-face -to -face, uh voluntary work or some face-to-face -face experience with this and along with your degree it'll put you in a good position to get a job somewhere in the country okay so for example if i did this one on the left the one with uh the young learners and teaching business i would basically say i'm qualified to teach english uh english business I'm qualified to teach to young learners, okay? Look, it's totally different from doing one of these courses online to then getting into a classroom with a room full of kids and then you realize you don't know what you're doing, but that's what experience is for, okay? First, you need to get the job. You need to get yourself through the door. These do give you a good idea. You can see a lot of uh, demo videos, a lot of uh, other help uh, on, on YouTube as well. So, uh, for example, this is eye to eye. Look, I've, I'm not an affiliate or anything. Uh, there's many other ones just click on google but try and get something which is officially accredited accredited uh you get your nice certificate you can fill your nice portfolio up with your your degree your university degree certificate and these certificates as well okay so the more hours you do the better and look here look enroll today for well actually well this price is uh Oh, enrolled today for £9.99, so it might be a special offer. Oh, full price, 579 US dollars, okay? Some people might say it's a waste of money if you can already get a job without having this, but I would prefer to have the security. Some people don't really care. <laughs> They've got a degree in train spotting, and they'll come and, uh, and get an teach, uh, English teaching job. It's possible. Even people with uh, no degrees, like I mentioned before, illegally, rightly or wrongly, uh, who aren't even on a proper work permit, can get an English job. But for me, I wanted to be as prepared as possible. I've got a degree and I did one of his courses. I think I paid around 350 US dollar at the time. It was over 10 years ago now. Uh, so this one here on left is $579. And one on the right for uh, young learners teaching business, teaching online, $339. Other companies will get different prices and offer different uh, packages and uh, the bows and all the pretty uh, stuff on top of the parcels okay so now all that has been said and done i've given you a little bit of a overview of uh, what's needed to actually get a teaching job let's look at uh, some places where we can actually find some job listings okay the first one is look when you get into taiwan you learn about all the different facebook groups you can join really useful okay now this one is called the taiwan english teaching in brackets job listings forum so have a look at this it might give you some really good information i'm going to pick out some examples now uh so most of these are recruiters look do your own research uh just so you don't get scammed check out the email address is it the correct one have they got a website do all the proper follow-ups and everything okay like I said, it's very unlikely that they want to interview you or you're going to be in potential to get an interview if you're applying from abroad. Um, 
it does help if you're already in country. But look, just to give you an idea and a head start, this is useful. So straight away here, look, this school is looking for a full time teacher. We believe in hard work, blah, 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 blah. OK, straight away, it gives you uh, it gives you the email address. Great. It tells you the location. So it gives you. Uh, how far it is from the MRT station. That's a metro station. So you can see from the job advert if it's convenient or not. I would say this is a good job advert. It gives all the information needed. It tells you the work schedule, the teaching hours, 20 to 24 hours a week. Uh, weekly schedule from 8 a.m. until 5.30 with one hour or one hour and a half lunch break. The salary is around 80,000 NT. So that's around 2,000 uh, 2, pound a month. <coughs> Excuse me. £2,000 a month. So you're looking at, oh, look, US dollar. Look, £100 is around 124 US dollars. So a thousand pound is around 1,240 or 1,300 US dollar. So you're looking at around 2,600 US dollar, around £2,000 a month. Age of students 15 to 18, classroom size 15 to 25. And then responsibilities. So it's telling you, you know, what you're going to be expected to teach. I.e. LTS English, English conversation, co-teaching as well. Uh, a bit of admin, a bit of management. It does say now this, these are the key things you need to be looking for, especially if you're thinking about coming from abroad. Uh, work permit slash ARC, which is your alien residence certificate provided. Start date, ASAP. So if you are in country now, if you are in Taiwan now, in Taipei, where this is, okay, you could be in, potentially in a position to get an interview for this job, starting ASAP. You could go get your interview and start in a few days. And look, some schools are desperate. I don't want to use the word desperate, but they are. You could go for the interview and bear and then on the spot, I know, because I know people who have been in that situation will get offered the job, sign the contract the exact same day. It's not, don't expect that, but it is possible. So straight away, they already say they do. They offer work permit in ARC. So let's just scroll down again. Here we go, Tainan. So Tainan is a different city further south from Taipei, okay? Again, uh, young learners. So you're going to be teaching young learners starting from August ASAP. Again, if you're in country or you're heading here on a flight tomorrow, ASAP. Now, August and beginning before of, uh, uh, 1st of September is the time they're hiring. It's the time schools are getting desperate. Schools are getting desperate. They need to fill the positions. Okay. So they're saying ASAP. This means that it's a higher chance that you if you're a good enough candidate with all the right qualifications and experience, but you will be in a good position to grab a position because a lot more schools are a lot more desperate than there was earlier in the year. OK, so young learners starting ASAP Monday to Friday, 8.30 to 4.30, 18 teaching hours per week, lunch break as well. Some schools do offer you free lunch. Great. Provided health insurance, labor insurance, ARC, which again is your alien residence certificate. Just be careful because that isn't your work permit, okay? Your ARC is your residency. Work permit should, if it's legal work, should be also given. Now, there are a lot of schools, there's a bit of a gray area because you're not really meant to have. Uh, kindergarten teaching positions or some cram schools okay so not everyone will actually offer a work permit they should but they don't that's just reality some people aren't com comfortable with that it's up to you but it is up to what they offer but you if they say they do offer something make sure it's in your contract and make sure that you do get it and if you don't get it because like I said, people are a little bit nervous, employers are a little bit nervous about, uh, you know, they're going to spend money putting you through all these forms, all the paperwork, all the right documentation to make you legal. And then you disappear after a few days. So you do have to build that trust and you do have to be re reliable. It does work both ways. And I can see it from the school's point of view as well. OK, so here monthly salary. This is a bit of a big range, 58,000 NT uh, to 70,000. So. 
I'm guessing the higher, the more experience you have, the higher end of the range. If you're a new experienced teacher, you will likely start on the lower end of the range. Some schools do give attendance. So if you turn up on time instead of one minute uh, before the start time, if you make an effort, you know, they, they do give extra bonuses. You might have ho uh, paid holidays and everything. But they are details to ask the employer at the interview. OK, remember, do your research uh, if they haven't got a website, if they've got no uh, no research to be researched, you know, that could be a warning sign. If you're in Taipei, for example, why not take a walk to the school? Get that interview, have a look around and actually see and talk to people with your own eyes and ears. Here we go. Public school position. So public school normally asking for people with uh, teaching licenses. So here, native English speakers. Now, everyone says we're looking for native, native English speakers. Uh, it normally includes, they say, South African, New Zealand, uh, Australia, English, US, sorry, UK, USA. Uh, but there are teachers from different countries all over the world what get jobs teaching English, who are actually qualified to teach English, but they're not native speakers. Don't let that put you off, but you've got to be realistic as well. They're asking for a teacher certificate or a subbing teaching license by your government or a bachelor's in education, okay, or a degree in education. Now, public schools can command a, a higher salary uh, with more time off, okay? And look, international schools are a different story. Uh, I'll also put in another link about another video where I give examples of different school positions at international schools for PE, for teaching English, for teaching science. OK, that's in the description. The link in the description, you'll be able to watch that video as well. So, again, they're still hiring now in different cities, New Taipei, Taiyuan and uh, Taichung. <clears throat> anyway, that's enough of that. The next one is TLIT. TLIT.com is brilliant for jobs. Amazing. And you're going to have a big choice. OK, again, I'll put this in the link in the description. So you scroll through TLIT uh, job section. They've got a load of other stuff, advertisements going on, uh, private work. They've got one on one work, group work, business teaching work. So straight away, here we go, accepting applications for 23 to 24 school year, which is now available August 23. It gives you everything, all the information, what's expected, what's needed Monday to Friday, the uh, working hours, here the salary from 70,000 NT, which is just under 2,000 pound to 90,000 NT dollar, uh, which is just over Two thousand pound, around two thousand three hundred, two thousand two hundred fifty pound. Uh, it gives you all the information. Catch out international school. Uh, that's just an advertisement. Look, you got private schools here. Now, this is very reliable because the schools and the uh, recruiters, the employers, actually pay to have their adverts on here. So this is very reliable. Okay, and look, there's a whole range. You might find eighteen hours a week and then you might decide you want to work uh, extra private classes and charge 25 pound an hour or 20 pound an hour or 15 pound an hour which people do okay but you might need or you probably will need that organization that school to offer you the work permit the arc and then what you do outside of the working time although they don't want a conflict of interest but do they know i don't know maybe not uh, if you're smart about it look here uh, 1 p.m. until 7 p.m., uh, 18 hours a week. OK, so you can work your schedule around that. Uh, yeah, so TLEC, great resource. No end of jobs all through the year. OK, so check that link out. Uh, let's move on now to LinkedIn. A lot of people don't look at LinkedIn. LinkedIn, you can actually look at uh, different uh different industry jobs, okay, not just teaching jobs. So LinkedIn, you just go to the job section, type in Taiwan, and they'll all come up. Very, very easy to find. But however, most of these jobs will need a command in Mandarin, okay, in Chinese. Uh, if you do type into Google, teaching jobs in Taiwan, or any top jobs in Taiwan, okay, it will all come up with that. Uh, also, Google search. OK, this is what I go through in uh, in the video in the link, which is discussing about jobs and teaching jobs in Taiwan as well. 
uh, you can actually go on the website of international schools. So first Google international schools in Taiwan. It'll come up with a list of international schools. Then one by one, go through them international schools at the careers and job sections. That will highlight what jobs are available and what you need for them jobs. Now, some international schools do need licensed teachers or highly qualified or experienced teachers. So they do actually recruit from abroad. OK, so it is competitive in terms of roles. If you want to work at the American uh, International School or the European International School and you're going for one specific role, maybe a PE teacher or a sports teacher OK, or a music teacher, it will be super competitive and they might recruit from outside as well as internally. But if you've been in Taiwan, if you built your network here up, if you within a good, friendly community, helpful community, OK, you may already have a half a foot in the door and it may be easy for you to get said role with some great experience and some great contacts. OK, there are opportunities all through the year. Now is the best hiring time. You've got to look at the start of the semesters or getting closer to the start of a semester where schools start to get a little bit desperate and it's going to be more favorable in terms of getting an interview and getting through that interview. You need to be reliable. So many foreigners, not just here, but everywhere are not reliable. OK, even in their own countries, they're not reliable. So they come here when you've got a different environment, bit of a holiday vacation vibe, and they're far from reliable, which means you're not going to hold down a job. Uh, companies, organizations, schools lose faith in you. Uh, you get a bad rep. And look, it's not always the foreigner's fault. It's not always our fault. There are some really bad and terrible schools and companies out there. You may have some bad experiences. You need to ask people. You need to do as much research as possible. And you need to take a look around the school and build your career step by step. You can make a good living out of teaching. Don't listen to what anyone says, OK? If you want to come here and make a living out of teaching, it can provide you with the money needed for your lifestyle, whether you're moving around different countries in Asia or Taiwan, or if you want a stable job, what gives you all the benefits, paid holiday, paid leave, paid vacation, bonuses, okay? Build your way up, be a head of language or head of foreign affairs. The world, or should I say Asia or Taiwan, can be your oyster. It's what you make it. Good luck, stay healthy, stay strong. Check out the links, important information there, okay? Get yourself into Taiwan if that's what you want. Make sure you try and do it as right as you can, as legal as you can, and get that job, get that interview. If you need your CV doing, click on the links as well below because I do people's CV for them. Okay. It is a paid fee. I'm not just doing your CV out of the good of my heart, although I am a nice person. Let me know if you need one, and I'll make sure your chances of getting through that interview or even getting an interview in the first place increase ahead of others. Stay cool, stay strong, take care.